Okay, so welcome back. So now in this example, we're now going to add and subtract fractions that do not have a common denominator. So the first step is we got to find the common denominator. And the denominator that we always want to use, that's the easiest to use, is the lowest common denominator. And so we're going to find the lowest common denominator by using the three steps. So we want to take each distinct, right? So each different factor. So again, these are all prime factors already. So the three and the three, and the r's and the, and the variables are fine. So three, so we have a three, we have an r, and we have an s. So what's the highest power of three that we have? One. What's the highest power of r that we have? Two. What's the highest power of s that we have? Three. There's our common denominator. Okay. So now, what do we need to do? Let's change this to a common denominator. So what do I need to multiply the top and the bottom by to get 3r squared s cubed? Well, we need an s cubed. So this is going to become 2 times s cubed over 3r squared s cubed. Okay, now, what's missing on the top and the bottom here to get our common denominator? Well, we've got an r and an s cubed, so we need, still need another r and a 3. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by 3r. So this is going to give us 12r on top, and then, of course, the 3r squared s cubed on the bottom. And now we're going to subtract off this one, but what's missing? We've got the 3 and we've got an s. We're still missing r squared and s squared. So we're going to multiply the top and the bottom by r squared s squared. So that's going to give us 3 r squared s cubed on the bottom and 5 r squared s squared on the top. Okay, so all I did was follow those three steps. Now I just have to use the rules that I learned earlier, that I talked about earlier about adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators. So I'm just going to add and subtract across the top, and I'm going to keep the bottom. So this is going to equal 2s cubed plus 12r minus 5r squared s squared over 3r squared s Cubed. Now, now we're finished, because that's we can't simplify that any further than we already have. Okay, so what else can we do here? Nothing. So this is our final answer. Okay. See you next time.